that's frozen. I see why people always come out here during sunrise it's so beautiful I've been so lucky with the weather and like it's just been clear skies the whole time but I feel like on some other days when it's kind of a little bit cloudy the mornings are the best time to see it when it's all nice and clear because then by the afternoon the clouds start to pop in. I tried a time-lapse a hyperlapse on my drone for the first time uh, we'll see how that turns out I don't know if it's gonna be any good ah it's so beautiful Unlike me right now, I'm sure. plans for today but I mean obviously one of the main reasons that I came out to this area is because I want to take great photos I thought that I would maybe show you or attempt to show you some of the best spots where you can get a great 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 view of Mount Fuji uh, one of them being right here I think there's probably only gonna be like three main spots you can see um, but yeah I'll drop a latitude and longitude there's a name for that yeah I'll drop the location in the description below so that you can find it also Let's go. Cool. I didn't actually plan to come here, but I 
it's literally just across the road from my hotel. Another reason that my hotel is the best hotel ever. I don't actually know the name of this restaurant. I should probably find out so that I can put it on the screen here or something. This is really cool. They just got like snacky foods and like souvenirs and stuff inside. But there's like a whole bunch of like really interesting different kind of areas that you can sit out and take photos in. And there's a foot onsen, like an uh, ashiyu is what it's called. Ah, damn it. I just realized I'm wearing stockings and I can't do it. Woo! That's an acidic coffee. It's not bad though. It's just very like tangy. One thing that I didn't take into consideration with a 20 minute walk is that a lot of the road is covered in snow, so I can't use my rolly suitcase. Ah! Oh, come on. Kind of. expected it to be. I thought there'd be some kind of like, I don't know, park bench or something that's a bit more parky. Parky? Parkish? More like a park? But yeah, there is no one here. It's amazing. There's just so many photo opportunities like everywhere you go. It's amazing. <laughs> to catch the right bus. Then I took the train from Kawaguchika station to Fujisan station. It was a Thomas the Tank Engine themed, which is a bit weird, but nah, each to their own, I guess. And now I am heading to quite a famous street, I think, for photographers coming to Fujisan. It's kind of like the middle of the day right now, so this isn't really prime shooting, shooting time. I know, maybe I'll fly my drone first or something. We'll see. Be because I'm listening to like a like a true crime murder podcast right now, but this looks like a murder house. Oh. It's called Egao Land, which means like smile, like a smile, smile face, smiling face land. Oh, that's creepy. <sighs> stopped in this little like side street here I basically like any road that's running directly like straight towards Mount Fuji is gonna look amazing there's this one street that was made famous by Hat K who's a photographer that I follow on Instagram and takes amazing photos and is this photo 
kind of went like semi-viral I guess and that it's it's just so so beautiful and lots of other people have taken similar shots to him I'm trying to find it however I cannot really find it but to be honest there's so many streets around this area with potential and they're all just so 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 beautiful yeah highly recommend any of the little streets that run what's the word not like perpendicular but like directly towards there's a word for that I'm sure but yeah oh, it's so pretty Probably a little bit dark right now, but uh, hopefully you can still see me. I'm, uh, what is it? It's like six o'clock-ish. Uh, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. This trip to Kalgujigo has been absolutely mind-blowing. I don't know how I haven't been here before, but this is now my new favorite place in Japan. It's so freaking stunning. Once again, I'll put all the links in the description for the hotel that I stayed at, the bus that I took to get here, as well as the locations of the like photo scouting places. If you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more stuff like this and travel vlogs around Japan and the world subscribe and go and check out the photos that I took on Instagram. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!